Hey guys, if you're among the iOS users experiencing battery drain issues or poor battery performance after updating to iOS 18, in today's video, I'm going to show you a few tips and personal recommendations to improve battery life on your device and prevent excessive battery drain. Now, I want to start off with something that's fairly simple, but most users tend to forget about because we have what's called an automatic app update. And I want to talk about third party applications. So any app that isn't an Apple application. So any social media application you have downloaded, any banking application, you want to make sure that all these apps are up to date with the latest current update for the application for better performance. And that way they're not draining the battery. Keep in mind last year with iOS 17 update, this was the main cause of overheating in battery drain. Now, even again, if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled, you want to head on over into the app store and inside of the app store, you want to go into your account on the top right, swipe down to refresh and take a look at the bottom of the screen and see if you have any updates available for any application. If you do, Obviously, you want to update all your apps so that you have better compatibility with iOS 18 on your third party applications. Again, this could be one of the main cause for battery drain issues on your device. And if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled, you also want to do this because sometimes those automatic updates don't kick in about a day or two later. So you want to make sure that you keep your apps up to date, especially with new software updates. Next, I wanna talk about the haptics on the keyboard. Now, I know a lot of you guys really like the haptics feedback on the keyboard, but even Apple themselves mentions that having the haptics enabled may drain the battery of your iPhone a little quicker. So in order to turn off the haptics for keyboard, you wanna go into settings, you wanna head on over into sound and haptics, and then you wanna go into the bottom of the screen here, you wanna go into keyboard and feedback, right there it is, and then you wanna go into sound and haptics. So you wanna make sure that you turn off those haptics right there, and this could improve the battery life of your iPhone in iOS 18. Again, even Apple mentions that having this feature enabled constantly uses the Taptic Engine vibration motor inside of your iPhone, which obviously, could cause battery drain. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is AirDrop because I know most users don't really use the bring devices together feature that allows you to bring two iPhones together to AirDrop something. I don't think I've seen anyone ever use that and that constantly drains the battery of your iPhone so you may wanna turn that off under settings. You wanna go under general and then you wanna go under AirDrop and right here it is, bring devices together. This is on by default. Again, this allows you to tap another user's iPhone to transfer things like photos and videos but honestly, if you don't use it, you may want to turn it off and this will also improve the battery life of your device. Next, I want to talk about live activities. Basically, live activities are interactive notifications on the lock screen of your iPhone. So if you have live activities enabled, sometimes for food delivering services or restaurants, this is something that can actually drain your battery a lot quicker. And this is a big one because we have a lot of apps on our iPhone. You want to head on over into settings. You want to go over to your applications. And let's say Chick-fil-A here. I have the Chick-fil-A application. You want to go through each individual application here and turn on off whichever ones you don't think you need. So right here we have Chick-fil-A, for example. I have the live activity for Chick-fil-A. I wanna make sure I turn off all these live activities for this specific application. That way, when I go to the restaurant, I'm not constantly getting that live notifications or interactive notifications on the lock screen with live activities, draining the battery of my iPhone. And again, you can browse through all your applications and see which ones do have the live activity and turn off the ones that you think you won't be needing for the future. Just keep in mind that live activities are constantly updating. So yeah, these could drain the battery of your iPhone, especially when you let it sit and they're active in the background. Now, something else that I've noticed has improved the battery life for me personally is turning off the wallpapers for the always on display. So you wanna go into settings, you wanna head on over into display and brightness, and then you wanna scroll down until you find the always on display option. And right here we have three options. This first option is the one that I'm talking about, show wallpaper. So now if I turn this off, when I go to my lock screen, it is completely dark, right? It's completely blacked out. Instead of showing the wallpaper itself on the background, which is the default option, this will actually prevent the battery from being drained. As you see here, if I turn it on, you see that the wallpaper sort of shows in the background. It looks pretty cool, but this can actually drain the battery of your iPhone slightly. So if you want to turn off those wallpapers for the background on the always on display, I recommend you do because again, I've noticed myself that this has improved the battery life of my device as well. Now, this next one is also fairly important because it has to do with location services. This is how to limit apps from getting access to your location on your iPhone. So go into settings, 
jump into the security and privacy section. So right here, or privacy and security. And then you have the location services right here. Right here, you have all the applications using location on your iPhone. So every time you launch an application, if it says when using, they get access to your location. And this is a lot of apps that you see right here. So let's say I have an application that's always using my location. So let's take a look here. Geico is always using my location. I can set that for when using the app. I can also ask them to always request or set it to never use my location. So keep in mind that you may want to go through the entire list of all your applications and turn off the ones you think shouldn't be using your location. Let's say you don't want Instagram to use your location. Just go into the Instagram location services and set that to never. There's no reason why every single application should have your location. Keep in mind that you can turn these off and that way you can save battery life on your iPhone. Now next I want to talk about Apple Maps. Now Apple Maps, you can use maps offline and this will improve the battery life of your iPhone and also help you save some data along the way. So jump into Apple Maps here, go into your account right here. At the bottom of the screen, you have all of my maps. Go ahead and add a map for online. Let's say I live in the city of Tampa, so go ahead and type in Tampa. And now I can download the entire maps for Tampa. This way I can save data and also improve battery life as the iPhone is not constantly tracking my location and also drawing from the network, draining the battery of my iPhone. So just download the maps for your respective location and that way you can use your maps offline, improving the battery life of your iPhone as well. Let me know if these tips work for you and if you have any additional tips you would like to share with the community, make sure you leave those in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.